skin, muscle, and other parts of our bodies stretch and contract as we move and heal. These contractile forces are important for cells' everyday function. To study contractile forces, a group of scientists led by bioengineer Christopher Chen at the University of Pennsylvania built a three-dimensional scaffold that mimics the environment of a real organism. First, they poured a mixture of cells in elastic collagen over a set of microscopic posts in a dish. Then, they watched the cells pull and release the posts as they formed a web of tissue. Sensors on the posts recorded the strength of the tugs. But the researchers could only measure the forces at each post, not between posts. So they teamed up with computer scientists to model what might be happening in the rest of the tissue. The model predicted that contractile forces would vary throughout the tissue and indicated where high and low forces should be. The researchers checked their experiment to confirm the computer's findings. What they saw surprised them. Cells were reinforcing the tissue with extra scaffolding in the areas where the computer had predicted the highest stresses, and cells were not reinforcing the tissue in areas with low stress. Researchers had previously thought that stress-induced collagen production happens uniformly across entire tissues. No one had shown that cells would form patterns of deposition that match the patterns of stress, says Chen. The computer models were really important in giving us an idea of where those stresses might be.